From the roads to the skies, many are still trying to make up for the lost time during the pandemic. According to AAA, 42 million Americans are expected to travel at least 50 miles during the Memorial Day weekend. At DIA, more than 70,000 travelers are expected to pass through TSA today through Monday. And United Airlines says this will be the busiest Memorial Day holiday in more than a decade. Denver 7's Bayan Wang is live at the airport. And Bayan, those long lines behind you are looking like a Memorial Day max mass exodus. Yeah, they're saying sayonara, Denver. We're out of here. We're going to spend our time somewhere else with our families for the holiday weekend. Take a look for yourself. These are the packed TSA lines for perspective at 3 p.m. The wait was between 10 and 15 minutes. Now we're seeing wait times uh, exceeding 20 minutes right now. We're also talking about some issues with the flight statuses here at Denver International Airport. We're talking more than 700 delays, nearly 80 cancellations, and with the influx of people leaving, the influx of people coming here, one woman we spoke to earlier said she really hopes there's heightened security, especially at DIA, especially after what happened to her luggage just two weeks ago. So there she is getting, that's my bag right there. Just like that, Janita Svindrar's luggage was gone. So then they walk out. They leave the airport after that. It all happened on May 9th. Svindrar returned home to Denver from her trip to New York. Her United Airlines flight landing at about 9 p.m. at DIA that night. Her bag, nowhere to be found. I had over $6,000 worth of items in there. And video footage she obtained from the airport shows why. So we're looking at the carousel where the bags that the passengers who were on my flight were on. These are their bags, including mine. So they were released before the passengers got off the flight. All of a sudden. And those are the women that took my bag. Two women seen walking into the camera frame. So they start picking up bags. They start looking at them, looking at the tags. She's kind of following one. And then she grabs my bag. That's your bag? That's my bag. What's the bigger issue to me is that this probably happens every day. Going in depth, according to Denver police, there have been 113 reports of theft at DIA so far this year, not including auto theft. In 2022, 328 reports of theft, and in 2021, 238. They kept saying, we believe it's lost, we believe it's lost. The cameras told another story. I know it's not lost because I am looking at two women stealing it right in front of me. It's my understanding that United Airlines and the victim found a resolution in this incident. In the meantime, DIA is saying, hey, look, we know it's going to be really busy in our airports. So they're advising all passengers to be incredibly vigilant, to carry all valuables onto the plane, and to head straight to the baggage claim as soon as you land. We're live in Denver, uh, International Airport, Bayan Wang, Denver 7. That's really violating. Thank you, Bayan.